Hey everybody, welcome back. I was just going to do a real quick video. I'll do my best to not ramble on like I usually do. But I was just going to do try to do a little quick video to show you a couple tips for building stuff. Um, and I'll, like on a tape measure, you know, if you're going to measure something, you want to know what half of it is. Uh, if it's an easy measurement, it's not that big a deal. And I'm just going to use, I'm going to do 22 just because it's easy. But, you know, if you take your, if you fold your tape measure over and you fold it to whatever your total length or whatever you're wanting is, and you look down at the end, right in the middle, whatever measurement that is, that's that's what your half point is. So say you even did, uh, you know, 20 and a quarter, your, it's kind of hard to see there, but uh, so if you did 20 and a quarter, you know, right there in the middle, you're at 10 and an eighth. So that's an easy way for you to find half. And then something I was going to show you too is still with the tape measure. If you're wanting to find center of a board, you know, and if you, let me get my pencil, sorry. If you're wanting to find half of a board, you know, you can measure it across. But if it's an oddball measurement, you know, you may not want to do the math or some people's not good with fractions or any of the oddball stuff. But if you take it, do your tape measure at an angle. So if you, instead of just going across, see that one's like seven and a sixteenth. But if you, if you go at an angle, and you take it to a, a common number like eight right there or whatever number you can get it to go to. So now if you're at an angle at eight, you can just mark your number four, mark four, and then see now you got the center of the board. Easy way to do it. Just angle it to a common number, so 10, and look, five's right in the middle. So, and if you did 12, six, it's right there on the six. So that's an easy way for you to find center if you wanted to. And then, you know, if you're doing a piece of plywood or OSB or any sheet and you're trying to use a chalk line, you know, a lot of times if you're doing a diagonal, you set your chalk line out set your chalk line out well then you know if you're when you're going to do your angle it's slipping on you and stuff an easy way to do that is just grab your little knife and right where you want your mark to start just cut a little notch right there and you can hook your string in that and then of course you got to cut it deeper than i just did again like some other videos let me make the mistake so you don't have to there so now you can do your angle and you hold it and you can snap your angle. So you can get your line at an angle that you need. So that's just a couple quick tips. I hope it helps you. I got more videos coming on framing and things along the line down the road. So appreciate it. Thank you. And if you don't mind, like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.